Hello everyone, how you doing guys? Welcome to my page again. Let's see what we got for you. We have a South Korean beauty. They would. Unfortunately, they would. We don't see them no more because I'm not sure if the brand altogether has disappeared like out of business. I know GM owned them, but um uh, you don't see the Daewoo brand anymore. They were sold in the States. Daewoo, they sold from 1997 until 2002. They only sold the Nubira, the Lanos, and the Leganza. Which, the Leganza was an interesting looking car, I gotta say. I owned one. It was very reliable to me. I never had any issues. Again, the only reason I sold it was because... When the brand left America, I it kind of gave me a um, red warning sign that I was in, I was, I wanted to sell the car before it broke down on me, and I couldn't find no parts to it. But let me go back to this car. This is what you guys want to see. This is a Daewood Cielo. This is a 143 scale, and it's a gorgeous beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. I like the co the color of it. As you guys know, these Daywoods were a copy of the Opal Cadets. The Opal Cadets from the 80s, they would copy the model. Now, they would sold in other countries. They also called them Daywood Racer in other countries. In America, before even they would show up, they sold some of their models through GM. Example, they had the Pontiac Le Mans from the 80s, which is a duplicate of the old of the Daywood Racer. And it was a, the Daywood Racer is almost a duplicate of the Pony of the Oldsmobile, not Oldsmobile, my god. <laughs> of the Opal Cadet. We're talking about GM brands and Oldsmobile popped in my head. <laughs> but this is a gorgeous car, I gotta say it. Now I looked at I never seen one of these examples in those oh no, I, I seen them. I seen them in other countries. But these are the exact wheels from this car. Now, especially the side of the car, it gives me exactly the same look as an Opal Cadet. The rear, it is different. They kind of remodel the rear. They want to give them a little touch here and there to make sure it doesn't exactly look alike. And the front too, it's a little bit different, but they still, um, they still re is a replica of the Opal Cadet. You see that they were insignia right there. And this is a gorgeous piece of work. I like it. I'm glad they made some South Korean models because you don't see many South Korean models in the 143 scales. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's because Daewoo, Kia, and Hyundai are giving these companies that make diecast a hard time. I wish I could see a lot more of them, like the Hyundai Accent, like the Kia Rio. And I mean, I'm talking about the 143 scale. They have them in other sizes, but my hobby is a 143 right now, so I want to keep it with that. But this is a nice piece of work. I like it. I see they wouldn't sing in the grill. Now, that license plate, I don't have a clue where is it from. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If anyone recognizes it, let me know. I'm interested to know. I don't think it's a South Korean. I don't think it's a South Korean. I have another Daywood that I will film in a future video. It's uh, the Daywood Tico. And I'm going crazy looking for that Daywood Espero. But boy, is that car hard to find. Truly hard to find. They are never, they're never in the market. I guess obviously they don't make them no more. And the ones, the few people that have them are holding them tight. I seen them in the police car, but I don't like the police car. I like the regular ones. I try not to go crazy with police cars. 
I like the real car that was sold for for you and I, like people, regular people, to buy him. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to let it go around again so you can have a nice look at the car. All right, everyone, so hopefully by now you're enjoying all these videos. It will be my pleasure to hear other stories, what collections you guys have, and yeah, what's your hobbies, like what you guys have and what you guys are looking for. It's always interested to hear other people's stories, other collectors like me, diecast lovers, diecast fans out there. Let me know your uh, your collections and your hobbies and what you're into and how many of them you have. All right, everyone. So stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.